Okay, so something I wanted to show you quickly is how to convert from lat long to xy because sometimes you want to know things in meters. So you can see in this file I've been working with, my x and my y is degrees east and degrees south. And so maybe I want to calculate distances, so I want to get these into meters. So how you would do this is you go click on coordinates, new coordinate projected, new projector coordinate system. What is your current X and Y? So my current X and Y are already selected by default. I click Next. It says, what is the current coordinate system? So I just said it's geographic because that's lat long. I click OK. And then I've got to decide what is my new coordinate system. So the most common one that we use that's in meters is UTM. So you can see I've said X, UTM, Y, UTM. You could maybe even put what zone you're going to be in here. I know in South Africa, in, we were just around Kharteng in Johannesburg, it would be zone 35. So you're going to have to just go on the net, they are, just type in Google UTM map and you'll get a map of the different zones and it will give you an idea of what zone you are in. I click next. So now this is a little bit more complicated, so now I'm UTM, so I'm projected, so I click on projected. My datum is WGS84. So if, you, if it's not already coming up, you'd have to scroll down to WGS84. And then I've got to go through this list to find UTM at the bottom. In South Africa, we also use up at the top here, you can see South African survey and these are different zones. The zones are different to UTM zones, so you'd have to find out about that too. This is a local coordinate system we use, a lot of the mines use it. Although in Geosoft, some of the things are swapped around a bit. So that's why it's really safest to just use UTM, it's the most common one. So I go down here and I click on zone 35. I know I've also been working around Cape Town, which is about a thousand kilometers away from Johannesburg and further west, and then I would be using zone 34. So you really just need to check what is best for the city or the town that you're working around. Click on OK. And you can he see here, it's added in the columns, but there's two stars. What does that mean? It just means there's not enough space to display all of the decimal places. It's not really necessary to have all these decimal places. You can reduce that. This is just the default. So I click on the heading if I want to change it. Right click, edit. Over here, you can change the number of decimal places. i put it down to four. And I can do the same for my Y. Um, sorry, edit, there's more places, put it down to, sorry, four. Okay, and now that I've got things in meters, it's quite convenient because now I can calculate distance. So I want to calculate the distance along this profile. How I do that is, I have to try to remember, database tools, channel tools, and then make a distance channel. What do I want to use to make the distance channel? I don't want to use my X, X and Y because those, those are my lat long, so they're in degrees. I want to use my X and Y, which are UTM. And what do I want to call the, colo the, yeah, the column where I'm going to put my distance values? I just call it dist. Click OK. It should appear here. If it doesn't appear, click in one of the blank headings, right-click list, and then it should be down, you should be able to choose it from a pop-up list. <coughs> Sorry. And so these are your distances in meters because it's calculated from your UTM. And this can be quite useful now to, for displaying in your plot below. So if you right click on your plot, you go X axis options and you choose the distance column and click OK, you can see it's now displaying distance along the bottom. And so that gives you a better idea along each profile. Um, to be able to compare them. Something I can also do here, I'm going to right click, go X axis, and I'm going to go take off this auto rescale so that when I jump through my lines, so I click up here and I go page down, it keeps the same distance going along. So you can see this line I obviously cut shorter than the previous lines. And I got a bit lazy in the afternoon. And then this is where our data started falling apart. So it's just a nice way to be able to compare lines. Something like this, um, we actually stopped taking readings here because there was cars or houses. In fact, it looks a bit weird because so the data's and um, the computer's just trying to connect the points. 
Okay, so that's how you change the X and Y from being that long to being in meters and you can do it completely also in the other direction. You can go from meters to degrees.